Well, what's up, y'all? I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. And as you can see, I've got my climbing gear out. And uh, we've got a tree that is right next to the RV. Regina has been going crazy about it. It is kind of leaning. I'll show you guys a little bit why she's so worried about it. And because wintertime is coming, you can see, see if you can see in the light, but that tree, along with all the roots, are very exposed. And the RV is right there. With that being said, uh, I need to take care of this before wintertime comes because when wintertime comes, we have a lot of windstorms, a lot of snow, you know, real bad weather. And I, uh, yeah, I don't want to take the chance at that thing coming down on uh, the RV. Um, yeah, I don't want to take the chance at all. So we're going to get to it. But uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up, pretty pleased with sugar on top, and uh, let's get to it. Well, we got it done. And uh, so just a heads up, I'm only gonna top it. Just limbed it up, topped it, um, and called it good. The reason why is because once the loggers come in to continue on uh, clearing the road and the build site, I want them to take that tree. I would rather utilize the tree to make some money um, rather than take it down in pieces. And it's a heck of a lot safer without that top on there. It's not gonna pick up a bunch of wind. And um, all in all, it's good. Um, it was, man, uh, it was, I did think that it was leaning a certain way. It looked like it from the ground, but once I started to actually get up towards the top, I could actually tell that it was leaning a little bit. It was leaning, <clears throat> excuse me, east, but it had a slight tilt over towards the RV. And uh, I mean, I, di I was able to uh, do my face cut a couple different ways. Um, and then as far as the back cut, um, I opened it up on the side of the RV so that it would still hold on on the far side and then spin around. So what it did was it would fall kind of towards the normal way that it was going to fall, but that back side was still hooked up. So it swung it around the other side and I, it worked out just enough. So check out where it fell. There it is right here. So it actually did come down facing the driveway, which was awesome. There's the RV. But the butt section, let's see how close that got. RV and the top worked out just right. Nothing hit. Uh, all the branches I was tossing down, um, nothing hit the uh, RV. Um, as far as uh, 
Yeah. It broke the thing right there. One branch hit that, but all worked out good. Now it's just a bunch of cleanup. Here is the tree. You can see how wonky that was when I started getting up there. It, I mean, it does all kinds of tilting, but that's huge. Just awesome. Well, there we go. It is officially done. Regina is happy. Um, she would rather me take down the whole tree, but the reality of it is, is like I said, I would like to utilize that the best that I can, hopefully make some money off of it. And um, it's a heck of a lot safer now, especially for the wind storms without that top, not to repeat myself, but it, it will catch a lot less wind and uh, not so big of a threat anymore. But uh, I'm gonna end this for now and start cleaning up, but uh, I got nothing but love, nothing but blessings for each one of y'all out there. Again, my name is Dusty. Please make sure to hit the like button. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.